and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am doing a tutorial on what I wear to go to my internship. So it is my makeup that I'm wearing here on an everyday basis. It is super easy, super quick and perfect for those of you that have to get out of the door really fast and don't have a lot of time in the morning. This makeup look takes me only about 15 to 20 minutes which for me is very quick. So that is what I'm going to share with you guys in this video today. But before we go on into the tutorial, I wanted to talk about the glasses that I am wearing. I don't know about you, but at work I have to stare at a computer all day long, which is really bad for my eyes. And I forgot my glasses at home. So when Firmore Glasses contacted me asking me if I wanted to review one of their glasses, I was super excited because I actually really needed glasses. So this is the pair that I picked out and I will leave their website down below in the description. But yeah, I freaking love these glasses. They're perfect and they're just what I needed for my internship, which is amazing. But the best part is that they gave me a link for you guys where you can actually get your own free pair. So I will leave that down below in the description. So definitely check it out. Out. I will also leave a link to the pair that I got if you're interested in them down below. But yeah, the quality is amazing. They're all super affordable and they got here in like two days which is really quick so their customer service is definitely on point. Also this video isn't sponsored by them, they just gave me the glasses and I wanted to talk about it. So yeah, don't forget to check that link down below. So yeah, without rambling on, let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial. Okay, so I'm starting off with a bare face and before I'm going to apply any makeup, I am going to moisturize my lips using my Milani Moisture Lock Coconut Oil Infused Lip Treatment. So I am going to apply this as a sort of base for the liquid lipstick that we're going to apply later on. So then to prime my skin, I'm using my Becca First Light Priming Filter. This is actually a new product and this is just a little sample, but I really like it so I might get the full size, although it is really expensive. Alright, so then moving on to foundation. Today I'm using my It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Cream. On an everyday basis, I prefer wearing a CC cream over a full coverage foundation. And this one has SPF in it, which is perfect. And I am in the shade Light. And I love this stuff so much that this is actually my third bottle I went through. And to apply this, I'm using my new Eco Tools uh, Beauty Sponge. Okay, so now that my foundation is on, it is time to move on to concealer. And I have been loving this one by Tarte, and it is the Shape Tape Contour Concealer in the shade Fair Beige. Now, this is extremely light for me right now, so it is going to look a little bit extreme, but bear with me, it is going to look fine in the end. And you really don't need a lot of this concealer because it is really full coverage. And I'm applying a little bit on the center of my face as well because since it is so light, this is going to balance everything out. And then again, to blend this into my skin, I'm using my Eco Tools brush. No, sponge. This is a sponge. Now before setting my concealer with powder, I am going to apply a little bit of the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Sin on my eyelids. Even though I'm not going to wear any eyeshadow, this is just going to cancel out any veins and even out my eyelids. Okay, and then to set this all in place, I'm using my RCMA Translucent Powder. Alright, so then to set the rest of my face, I'm going in with my trusty old IT Cosmetics uh, Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. And to apply this, I'm also using an IT Cosmetics brush. This has been one of my favorites. It's a new one and I absolutely love it. It is so big and fluffy. And I'm just going to press this powder into my skin. Moving on to bronzer, I'm using my Milani Bake Bronzer in the shade 04. I think this is called Glow. Yeah, Glow. And then to contour a little bit, I'm going in with my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer in Medium Deep. This is just a little sample size that I got at Sephora, but I have been loving it. So again, might get to full size, who knows. And for blush, I'm going in with my Butter Blush by Physicians Formula in the shade Plum Rose. I got this here in Canada and I have been absolutely loving it. It is so pretty and it smells, of course, 
it smells heavenly as well. All right, so the next for highlight, I'm going in with my Too Faced Love Light highlight in the shade Blinded by the Light, which is absolutely gorgeous. It is a little bit more on the natural side, so I am going to build it up and apply quite a heavy amount because you guys know I love that blinding highlight. So yeah, if you like a more natural highlight, this is definitely one I would suggest looking into, but you can also build it up to look more intense as I am doing right now. A little bit on the cupid's bow and nose. Okay, I'm going to put the highlight down now. I need to stop before I look like a freaking clown. Okay guys, so then it is time to move on to my eyebrows. And of course, you already know I'm going to use my ColourPop Brow with Snow Brow Color in the shade Dope Dope. I use this all the time and I absolutely love it. So I really need to get my brows done, so don't mind that, they look absolutely crazy. So then of course I'm going to set my eyebrows and as usual I'm using my Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel. I really need to get a new one but I love this stuff so much so I'm going to keep on using it. Alright and then of course this makeup has to stay on all day long at work. But to make sure it is going to last I'm going to set my makeup, there's a hair in my mouth. I am going to set my makeup using my Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. So again, this is a newer product, but I have been absolutely loving it. So as I mentioned before, on an everyday basis when I go to work, I don't have a lot of time in the morning, so I skip eyeshadow. So I am going to move on to mascara. And my favorite one has been the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. So that is the one I am going to use today. But first, I'm going to curl my lashes. Okay, so you guys already know I suck at applying mascara on camera, so I will be right back with my lashes on. Alright, so then to make sure my eyebrows are going to stay in place all day long, I am going to go over them with my ABH Clear Brow Gel. This is almost completely out, so this is another item that I will have to repurchase in the near future, but I absolutely love this stuff, it is amazing. Alright, so then the final step is lips, of course, and on an everyday basis to go to my internship, I like to keep it very neutral and simple. So today I'm going to apply my Tarte Lip Sculptor, and this comes with a lipstick and a lip gloss, and this is in the shade Kind. So first I'm going to apply the lipstick. Now the lipstick itself already has quite a shiny finish, but I am going to go over it with the lip gloss just to show you guys what it looks like. So this is the combo on my lips, which looks absolutely gorgeous in my opinion. It is a little bit on the darker side. I was expecting it to be a little bit more nude since it is the first time I'm wearing it, but I like it. It's been a long time since I wore glossy lips, but I do really like it. And that is the finished look, super easy, super quick, and there's lipstick on my teeth. Okay guys, so that wraps up this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed this look, even though it is quite simple and neutral. It is just the perfect everyday makeup look to go to work or school, in my opinion. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell down below. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope I will see you all in my next one. Mwah.